Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. CodingFace.com. Listen, guys, I have another great article for you guys that you guys should definitely check out because it's very helpful. For those guys that are trying to master JavaScript, these are like 12 techniques that are going to save you time because you're writing less, right? Is this like, you know, when you write a one, you know, one line function, right? So there's 12 good JavaScript shorthand techniques, right? So I'm gonna talk about each technique and I'm gonna tell you why it's good, all right? So a lot of times we're always checking through no undefined empty checks, all right? So we always check in through this. We're like, okay, is this no? Is this variable no? Is this undefined? Is this an empty, all right? Well, that can get done pretty easy you could just say hey let variable 2 equals variable 1 or empty that's it <laughs> with that right there what it's going to do is basically going to let you know if this is empty or not like you save yourself that whole big line I've seen this done so many times where you you're trying to figure out if it's a empty string if it's you know if it's undefined if it's no right so what you're doing here you are saying hey is variable one there right if it's there or equals to empty then it's true right now if it comes out false if variable two equals to false then it means that it has something inside of it it has either no undefined or you know it could be anything it could be a string it could be a number it could be uh, an object whatever it is there's something inside of variable one that's pretty much what you're doing here so I think to me is it's a pretty good shorthand all right now this one I don't understand it because to be honest with you I never write this like this right I don't know who actually creates new arrays I haven't seen this done in like forever. The last time I seen this done was like, I don't know, maybe 2009 when I tried to get into JavaScript. And I was like, oh my God, JavaScript's too difficult. I'm not doing it, right? So <laughs> that's when I left this alone. But I've never seen this, like regular people at a job actually declaring a new array. I've seen this done in PHP, but I've never seen this done in JavaScript. So what they did here was, Let's say an example, you come here and you're like, okay, I want to declare uh, a variable, but that variable is an array. So you're saying, hey, I want to declare a new array, and then I want to say a equals to zero, my string one, a one equals my string two, and you know, a two equals to my string three, right? I don't know who writes it like this, but I basically always have wrote it like this, where I say, hey, I create the array, and then I just put in the values inside of it. I guess that's a shorthand for some people. <laughs> you know, for me, this is how I've always done it. So that one, I don't know. It wasn't much help for me because I already know that one. All right. Now, if true, else shorthand. There's like, you know, single line if statement, right? So I'm pretty sure a lot of people know this. I hope you guys know this. All right. So what it's doing is saying, hey, let big so declare big right so if x equals no if x is greater than 10 big equals true now if it's not then big e equals to false so for somebody that you know if you want to do it in one line you could just say hey let big equals x greater than 10 true or false i do this every single day in react so I haven't done it like this in a long time so yeah this is a good shorthand right everybody should know how to do that everybody should know how to do a single line if statement all right okay now declaring variables shorthand this is helpful this is very helpful especially now with you know es6 and everything right so sometimes you want to declare a bunch of variables and you're like oh yeah I want to declare X, I want to declare Y, I want to declare Z, and then you say Z equals to 3, right? 
but you want to have those X and Y to be declared, right? You could just come here and say, hey, let X comma Y comma Z equals three. And then that's it. You just declare all three of them in one line. It's that simple. All right. Now, let's say another one. Assignment operators, shorthand. So let me see. This one, assignment operators are used to assign value one. Yes, I know that. No matter what programming language you use, of course, every single one, right? So let me see what exactly is that he's showing here. So x equals to x plus 1. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Then minus count, minus count, minus 1. So y, wait, what? y equals y times 10. Okay, that's dumb. Okay, x plus plus, I know that. That's going to equal, you know, if it's 1, it's going to equal to 2. All right, so that's fine. Minus count, minus, minus. Yes, I know that. Because minus, minus is always going to be 1. <laughs> you know, like, this is, like, so crazy. Like, people don't know this. People don't know how to do this. Like, if we want to say y equals to y times 10. So, let's say if y equals to 10 right so we multiply by 10 that's 100 and now the new variable is going to be named uh 100 so the new value for y is going to be 100 so i'm surprised that people don't know this they don't know how to do y asterisk equals to 10 i'm surprised people don't know that that's weird that's weird that they even have this right i, I don't know to me that wasn't a shorthand that's like basic javascript all right, so let's say another thing too. Talk about regex, object shorthand, cool. Uh, let me see, new regex expression. Uh, regex Q, console. Okay, yeah, I've seen this done. I'll be honest with you guys, I'm not the best developer when it comes to regex, like I'm okay. I barely use it. I only use it in special occasions, like certain situations where I got to go through a string and figure out if the string has uh, special characters, like for passwords and stuff like that, or email. But I barely use it. I myself, I got to admit, I got to get better with regex. So let's see. Let's move on to the next one. If presence shorthand, this might be a trivial but worth mentioning when doing if checks. All right. Assignment numbers can be sometimes be omitted. Yeah. Oh, yes. I'm guilty of this. I'm very guilty of this. Sometimes I, I come in and uh, I search through something. And I say, hey, I want to do an if statement. I want to if check, right? So let's say exactly like here. I say, okay, live JavaScript equals to true, right? All you have to do is just put in the variable. If the variable is equal to true, it's going to run anyways. But psychologically <laughs> i always write it down i always be like oh like javascript equals to true like i always do this so in reality guys you don't have to put in the you know equals to true at all because if the variable itself is true it's gonna run the if statement all right all right cool let's see here's another example if c is not equal to true do something i do this one for sure i do this one for sure so it's basically the same thing so if the variable let's say if the variable is 10 and you let's say variable x is 10 and you say hey i want variable 10 i want this if statement not to run when the variable is 10 so no is you say you're basically coming in hold on i gotta do this this is hard <laughs> It's hard to explain this. So let's say we come here and we say x equals to 10. And then we say if x not equal, or let's say like this, if equals to true, right? All right, if x not equal to true, run console log. Hey, let's see what happens. It's undefined. It's not running. So 
else console log swag cool so it's running swag so what you're basically saying is if x is true if x is true then run this if it's not true run the other one right a lot of times people do the same shit and in reality, it's, it's basically the same thing. If you come here and say, swag is going to run that. But if you want this to basically be the opposite of whatever X is. So you're basically saying, if X is true, I don't want it to run this. I want to run the else statement. So that's what happens there. All right. If that makes sense. Cool. All right. So. That was a dumb shorthand, but for some people, they might find some use to it. All right, so let me see. Function variable arguments shorthand. Okay. Let's see. Object literals can take a little getting used to, but seasoned de developers usually prefer it over a series of nested functions, variables. You can argue which technique is shorter, but I enjoy using object literal notation as a clean substitute to the functions or constructors. All right, so let's see. Okay, this is the long hand. Having one function, string, my number, whatever, and then do something. And then you're running the function. Cool. Now, let's see what's the other one. Uh, shorthand looks long, but only because I have a console logs in there. This should, this looks stupid. Uh, skip this one. This one looks stupid. I don't even know why he put it in. I'll be honest. That looks dumb. All right. This one makes sense. This is a good shorthand. Where, you know, people might search, hey, give me the strength of the character at, you know, at the zero, which is the very first one. So give me M. Right. For me, I've done it like this, where I come in, I look at the string, and then I put in the brackets and I put zero, and it returns M. This is how I've been doing it for a while. You know, for some of you guys, I might use the characters at zero. I never use that at all, but it's good to know. It was a good little shorthand. Let me see. Short function calling, just like number one, you could use ternary operators to make function calling shorthand based on con on a conditional yes all right so let's see what's the long hand long hand function x console log x function y <laughs> who writes like this okay uh let z equals to three z not equals to three x else y okay so So let's say function x. I find it still messy. I don't know. See, people give this a top highlight because this kind of messy no matter what. You know what I mean? But this right here is fine. But I don't know. It's this for some reason this code, both of these look messy to me. I never write it like that. Alright, let me see what's another one for decimal based all right this is cool so instead of you writing ten thousand you could just put in ie four which is four zeros and then that's the same thing as ten thousand that's not bad it saves you what a millisecond <laughs> but to me personally i wouldn't write it like this because not every single person that's going to read that code is going to understand what does IE4 means. It's better to be more clear and say, hey, it's 10,000. That's what we're talking about. All right. So that's for me personally, I would just write 10,000. Even though this is the shorthand, I would definitely write 10,000 just because for the next person, the next person who's going to come in and read this and be like, what the hell is IE4? Instead of just saying, hey, 10,000. You know what I mean? Okay. But yeah, man. You already know. It's your boy Joe back at it again, man. Just going through this blog post. And I love this website, guys. Hackernoon.com. Very informative. You know, it's a great place for, for new developers to learn a lot of things. Because 
there's a lot of seasoned developers here who go, go and do really good posts and I will recommend it to everybody to check it out. This is one of the places where I spent hours. I mean, hours are just reading other people's blogs. So when I find something cool, I'm going to share it with you guys and I'm going to explain it why it's cool. And yeah, man, shout out to Yuri Ramos. It's always good to see Spanish people in this thing. You know what I mean? Your boy's back. <laughs> All right, guys. But yeah, man, make sure you subscribe to the kid. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you share this video with your friends. Or just give it a like. I don't know. Or even a thumbs down. Whatever you want to give it, right? But at the same time, guys, I want you guys to go on all my videos, right? Whenever you get the time. Whenever you get the time, right? You come to my videos, right? You come in. You'll see my face, right? You see your boy out here swagging it real quick. Hey guys, I'm Class. Commercials I'm like always. <laughs> Commercials like always. But yeah, guys, I have courses here. 50% off for everybody that comes from YouTube. Everybody that comes from YouTube is 50% off automatically on my website, right? And then everybody else, uh, sorry guys, you got to pay full price. But, you know, if you come from my YouTube directly, then you're going to get 50% off. And then, you know, everybody else that want to know what courses I took, specifically the ones that I took to become a web developer, they're right there on my description, guys. Take a minute. Check it out. Spend no, you know, don't spend time looking for research and looking for uh, which one are the best courses to learn, which one are the best courses for this and that. They're right there in the description. All right, guys. I'll see you guys later. Bow. Guys, I just want to say thank you for actually watching my videos and lasting all the way to the end. I want to share this with you guys. If you come here on my description, you will see more links that's going to help you out, guys. You have a link that's directly to my website where I have courses, right? Courses that are going to help you, like learn HTML, CSS, future proof JavaScript, jQuery, Node.js, Laravel like a boss. I know how to code. Now what? Right? Basically, these courses are going to help you take you get to the next level. All right. Listen, $10 a month, but for you guys, it's $5 a month. I'm talking about 50% off on everything automatically. All right. Just because you came from YouTube, guys. All right. And I also have, you know, the courses that made me into a developer that are coming directly from you to me. Trust me, guys, $10. They're completely worth it, guys. They're going to teach you how to become a developer. Now, I would say come and check out my website. Give it a try. It's $5. You can cancel at any time. But the best part about it is that you're learning from somebody who is self-taught. Somebody that's going to give you the things that you need to become successful like guys i make over a hundred thousand dollars as a web developer i've been doing this for a long time and now i'm taking it to the next level because of you guys i'm taking it to the next level to teach you guys and help you get to that job that you need to get right that job that you deserve all right guys so i'll see you guys later bow